Welcome along to your latest transfer roundup. It's myself, James Mason, and Tom McGarry that are taking you through the big stories around the world of football. And we'll start with two completed deals. It's Aston Villa. They've been busy this summer. 11th and 12th arrivals through the door then at Villa Park. The first is Tom Heaton, the goalkeeper from Burnley. They've signed him. The next is Marvellous Nakamba. He's come over from Club Bruges. He joins, actually, his former Club Bruges teammate, Wesley, who went to Villa Park earlier in the window. Two big signings made and two more through the door. Yeah, 11th and 12th signings of the summer from Dean Smith. They're not messing around, are they? Aston Villa since getting promotion back to the Premier League. Tom Heaton, for me, is a really shrewd signing. Villa used four goalkeepers in the Championship last season, conceded a lot of goals. They needed to strengthen in that area and bringing in someone of his experience, an England international, is a really good signing. He'll go straight into the first team. Nakamba might take a little bit more bedding in. Young player, hasn't played in... England before but I think the fact as you mentioned he's got Wesley alongside him a former teammate they can help each other really integrate integrate into the squad and I do think he'll probably start to feature more as the season goes on but certainly Heaton will go straight into the team and improve Aston Villa. Yeah, that's taken Villa spending to well over £100 million. Pounds. Uh, moving on to a side that could be shelling out around £60 million. Pounds. Well, that is Italian side Napoli, because they're said to be interested in signing Crystal Palace winger Wilfred Zaha. He's a very sought-after player this summer. Arsenal were said to still be in for them, they should be. Um, but Napoli looked like they're trying to steal in. Yeah, Arsenal and Everton have both been heavily linked and have both had bids turned down. Zaha. And it seems to be a situation where they're both moving on to other targets as well. Nicolas Pepe expected to join Arsenal and Moise Keane set to move to Everton. So Napoli are trying to slip in under the radar. A bid of around 55 to £60 million, pounds, as you mentioned. That's what they're preparing. I don't think that'll be enough to convince Crystal Palace. It's similar to the amount Everton offered last week. I think Palace are still holding out for that £80 million pound mark. Or preferably for them. They don't want to sell at all but if Napoli did up their bid towards 75 80 million it might convince Palace to part ways do I think Napoli are capable of spending that much money on one single player I have my doubts so for me at the moment I think Zaha will probably stay where he is yeah back over to the Premier League then with Brighton now their manager Graham Potter is looking to delve into the championship because he's after Brighton at forward Neil Morpé he had a fantastic season for the Bees and of course Potter knows all about him because he was in charge of Swansea City he's now in charge of Brighton Morpé again he's another sought after player can he cut it in the Premier League I think he can he's only 22 years old really young considering how much football he's played he's been at Brighton for uh, sorry for Brentford for three seasons, 25 league goals last term. Only Timu Puki scored more in the championship. He's a really good player. Brighton need cutting edge. Only the bottom three scored less goals than them in the Premier League last season. They were reliant on Glenn Murray, who isn't getting any younger. They need someone to come in and score 10, 12 goals at least. I think Neil Morpé can do that. And in today's market, the value is supposedly around £20 million. I think that would represent really good value for money. Yeah, another player that could be moving for £20 million involves Swansea City, and it's Oliver McBurney. Now, he's meant to be going to Sheffield United. That are the rumours that are going around. The Blades are meant to have a bit accepted, a medical going on. Again, he's a player that has had a little go at Premier League level when Swansea were up there, didn't really do it. Is this a good signing? I think it could be. Uh, the Blades were also interested in Neil Morpé. They seem to have turned their attention to McBurney, who's at a similar age to the Frenchman. As you say, didn't really do it with Swansea a couple of seasons ago. Didn't get that much of a chance in truth. I think he's a much player, better player now than he was then. He's had a full championship season under his belt, scored goals regularly. I'm not sure if he can do it straight away in the Premier League. I'd probably prefer more pay to McBurney in truth. And in a side that are probably going to struggle at the bottom end of the division. It might be tough, but they need to do something. They need to improve their attacking line. And clearly Chris Wilder thinks Oliver McBurney could be the man. Well, there you have it. Uh, those are our thoughts on the chances that are going around the world of football at the moment. Let us know your thoughts on social media, Facebook and Twitter. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button on YouTube.